Hello, I'm Gabby Tweehouse. And I'm Rachel Whitehouse. Welcome to TMN Television on Thursday, November 15th. Tonight, we look at a recent post from University Counseling Services that had many students talking. We also look at the latest news on the curriculum changes. And later, we have a, the Truman Sports Update. These stories and more tonight on TMN Television. You don't want to miss this. After a recent response from students, University Counseling Services has replaced their limitations to service guidelines with the scope of services policy. UCS created a Facebook post October 31st to share updates that had made it to its limitation services policy. The post was shared almost 100 times on Facebook and prompted responses from students talking about their personal experiences on campus and their opinions on UCS. One response came from former student Lawrence Hu, who wrote a blog post that had more than 3,000 shares. President Sue Thomas says, while the post is significant, it is important for people not to come con to conclusions off of one person's experience. UCS has had the limitations to service policy for about two years. The recent update included a paragraph encouraging those who are experiencing mental health issues that might need help outside to visit and consult with UCS. Truman State University will be focusing on four problem areas affecting enrollment after having a strategic enrollment management group come to campus. The university hosted a meeting with SimWorks president and CEO Jim Black and enrollment consultant Kathy Balcom on November 8th to discuss the findings of the group. Overall, the group had nine areas where Truman could improve upon, but the university voted to pick four out of those nine to focus on. Those were raising awareness of institutional positioning, retention rates, website enhancements, and diversifying the enrollment portfolio. The university spent $154,000 to have the Sim group investigate. The Undergraduate Council had voted down a motion to postpone the implementation of the dialogue in fall 2019 and is moving forward as planned. The motion was brought forward by Undergraduate Council Chair Justin Jarvis. He says he brought the motion forward to make sure that no council members felt overburdened. UGC and Faculty Senate both expressed disapproval of the dialogues being postponed. Student Senate, however, has pushed for a later start date. Symposium committee member Catherine Brommel says student government wants to, the dialogue to be an excellent experience, but are convinced that it is still being put together. After the break, stay tuned for the Truman Sports Update. But before all that, let's take a look at this week's forecast. It's fine that other people like you. It's more important that you like yourself. And I'm comfortable with every part of me. Meals on wheel coming to my door as someone who's housebound assures me that I'm not forgotten. They care that I'm okay. My name is Asha Ida Bell, America. Let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. The Truman State University football team lost 34-33 to against Missouri University of Science and Technology Miners on Saturday. This was the Bulldogs' last game of the season, ending with an overall record of 6-5. The Bulldogs lost their first three games this season, but went to a six-game winning streak, five of those games being GLVC victories. The Bulldogs finished the, th the season third of the eighth team GLVC behind the University of Indianapolis and the Miners. Truman men's basketball season began November 9th with a home game against the University of Finlay. The game ended in a 57-81 loss as the Bulldogs struggled to keep up with Finlay's strong offense in the second half. The Bulldogs fell again on Saturday, losing to Cedarville University 84-91. The team's performance was improved in the game against Cedarville, but the opposing team had the upper hand, taking 57% of the shots. The women's basketball team won their first two matches with 59 to 45 against Trey and Nazarene University and a 71 to 59 win against Kentucky Wesleyan College. Both the men's and the women's teams will play this weekend. The women are heading to Quincy, Illinois to compete in the Quincy Sub -off, Subway Tip-Off Tournament on Friday and will take on Winona State University on Saturday. 
Truman State University's volleyball season came to an end last Thursday when the Bulldogs fell to the number one Lewis University Flyers in the, of, in the GLBC Championship Tournament quarterfinals. The Bulldogs began the season with a winning streak until losing three conference games, which dropped the team from number four in the GLBC to number eight. The Bulldogs began the first set of the quarterfinals winning 25 to 20 against Lewis, but were not able to pull through on the next three sets as the Flyers won those matches, ending with a one to three score. This has been your Truman Sports Update. Be sure to stay tuned after the break. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Thank you for tuning in with us tonight. For complete news coverage, be sure to stay tuned to KTRM, pick up a copy of the index, and look at Detours Magazine's latest adventure online. Don't forget to also check out our news content on tmn.truman.edu. You can also follow TMN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more breaking news updates. And if you missed part of our broadcast tonight, check out TMN TV on YouTube. And if you've ever thought about being on TV, be sure to head over to tmn.truman.edu slash apply to fill out an application today. From all of us here at TMN, thank you for tuning in and have a great Thanksgiving break. <laughs>